China recently reported two lung transplants on CCP virus patients, each with waiting times of just a few days, raising suspicions of organ harvesting. China's organ transplant industry has long been controversial for its extraordinarily short waiting periods. In the U.S., although 150 million people have registered as donors, they might have to wait for years to get a transplant. Authorities in China say there are 1.9 million registered donors. The waiting time can be as little as two weeks. In 2018, a BBC reporter raised a question to the head of China's National Organ Transplant Committee. Well, how come oh, I, oh. I, 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 I rang up? I was, able to, I was offered a liver very yeah, yeah, yeah. quickly but, but you, from you, a hospital in China. You, How is that possible? I don't want to listen and ans answer the question somebody with some political agendas. Well, uh, Last year, an independent People's Tribunal in London found that the Chinese regime has been and continues to be harvesting organs from prisoners of conscience. We, the tribunal members, are all certain unanimously and sure beyond reasonable doubt that in China, forced organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience has been practiced for a substantial period of time involving a very substantial number of victims. Yet over the years, China has been getting international help for its organ transplant system. One notable example is Spain. According to a 2018 report by state media Global Times, China's National Organ Donation and Transplant Committee head Huang Jiefu praised Spain for the help it's given China's organ transplant industry over the years. He said, right now, over 2,000 frontline organ transplant coordinators in China's organ donation and transplant industry were trained with the help of Spain. Spain has the most organ donors worldwide. One of its top transplant experts, Martin Manilek, has worked with China for many years. The Spanish surgeon is the president of Spain's Donation and Transplant Institute, a nonprofit group which promotes organ donations. Chinese state media reported that in 2013, the institute signed a five-year contract, which requires it to help China train medical staff to coordinate organ transplants. Spain also helped push China's organ transplant industry onto the international stage. In 2010, the head of China's Organ Transplant Committee was invited to speak at a major international organ transplant conference in Madrid. In 2013, a team of Spanish experts, including Manolek, went to Beijing's Yuan Hospital to speak about Spain's experience in organ donation and transplant. Manolek's Organ Transplant Institute has also been offering training sessions at the first hospital of Kunming since 2014. The hospital is listed as a suspect for its involvement in forced organ harvesting by an overseas watchdog on China's organ transplants. In 2019, Manulik told Chinese steep media that China's organ transplants are good enough to become the model of the world. Chinese authorities say the country conducted over 20,000 organ transplants in 2018, but the China Tribunal found that the real number of transplants in China is between 60,000 and 90,000 a year. And the main source of these organs are practitioners of the persecuted spiritual group Falun Gong. It also says China's Muslim minority, up to 1.5 million of whom are now kept in concentration camps, are at risk of becoming the next organ bank. In a 2017 interview by state media, the head of China's National Organ Donation and Transplant Committee spoke frankly about China's ambition to lead the world in organ transplants. That in just a few years, China will become the number one organ transplant country in the world. And China is ready to export that model to other countries. Last December, China held an international conference called the Belt and Road Organ Donation International Cooperation Development Forum. China said that it will actively promote international exchanges and cooperation in organ transplant among countries along the Belt and Road. But author and lead researcher of a 2018 study on China's organ transplant abuse, Grace Yin, warned that by expanding agreements to share organs with other parts of Asia, Belt and Road regions, and beyond, the Chinese regime also risks implicating the international community in its crimes. Spain's organ transplant world is not alone in voicing support for China. Jose Nunes, a World Health Organization officer who oversees global organ transplantation, told Chinese state media last year that China's organ transplants are on the right path and in line with the guiding principles of the WHO. He also said that as long as China follows its current path, 
all the anti-China voice and disinformation will disappear by itself. Last year's China Tribunal was chaired by Sir Geoffrey Nice, QC, a British barrister and part-time judge at London's Central Criminal Court. He worked at the International Criminal Court in the former Yugoslavia from 1998 to 2006 and led the prosecution of Serbia's former president Slobodan Milosevic. Sir Geoffrey Nice strikes a similar note in the tribunal's final judgment. Any who interact in any substantial way with the PRC, including doctors and medical institutions, industry and businesses, most specifically airlines, travel companies, financial services businesses, law firms, pharmaceutical insurance companies, together with individual tourists, educational establishments, and art establishments, should now recognize that they are, to the extent revealed in this judgment, interacting with a criminal state. We will rise.